Muhammad had an adopted son named Zayd. It was called Zayd ibn Thabit. Zayd, I mean Zayd uh, ibn Muhammad, sorry, different Zayd. Uh, so uh, Muhammad has an adopted son, great practice. But Zayd has a wife, Muhammad one day, after seeing her rise up, said she uh, rose up in haste and excited the admiration of Muhammad. Uh, Zayd finds out that Muhammad was attracted to his wife. Zayd divorces her. Muhammad says don't because he's worried about what people are going to say. And then uh, Allah reveals that Muhammad is supposed to marry this woman whose divorce was caused by Muhammad in the first place. As for the story about Zayd, that too comes from Ibn Ishaq. It's one of the uh, books, uh, an early biography of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but it was written uh, a hundred years after the Prophet, peace be upon him, and even now survives in a redaction later than that. So we cannot say that everything in that uh, biography is uh, absolutely true. Um, he said that the story of Zayd um, and uh, Zainab is based on late source. It's based on the Quran. It's right there in chapter 33, verse 37. Uh, so you, you have the story expanded in other sources, but that, that actual story is chapter 33, verse 37. The criterion of embarrassment is not a foolproof criterion. Even in Christianity, scholars discuss this. There might have been reasons why Muslims invented the story of Zainab, maybe to prove the, uh, the, uh, uh, the potency of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for their own personal purposes later on, to justify their own Bang. Uh, behavior. Bang. have it. Even Shabir says the Quran was invented by men to justify their actions.